Second career start. And it's last the MBNA Chester Vars, a mile and a half is the trip, and they're off and racing. And Mr. Impatience is the first one, in company with Rule of the World, to break the line. So they race down the back straight early on. Havana Beat is in third place with, in fourth, the maroon colours of Feel Like Dancing. So Mr. Impatience have been well suited by the rain that's fallen this morning, leading up early, and Ruler of the World in second place, the big Havana Beat racing a keenly in third place, wants to use that stride to greater effect than at the moment. His rider David Probert wishes to let him, and the rear of the field is Feel Like Dancing. So Mr Impatience heads up, up the home straight with just over nine furlongs to travel, leading from Ruler of the World in second place. In third is Feel Like Dancing, and Havana Beat is still ridden quietly disputing third place as they make their way up past the stands. The pace is only steady. Mr Impatience having a little look at the crowd up there. Straight, Ears Preck leads by just over a length from in second, ruler of the world. Havana beat in third and feel like dancing in fourth place as they prepare now to enter the final seven furlongs. Very little change in the order early on as Mr Impatience leads down the side by just over a length from in second, ruler of the world. In third is Havana beat still feel like dancing despite being the back marker when they turn into the back straight with six furlongs to travel that will only be half a length away in fourth place every jockey at the moment appears pretty happy with their position it's an even pace not a crawl but certainly not breakneck and out in front Joe Fanning just trying to wind it up marginally he's extended the advantage to just over a length now from ruler of the world and Havana beat in third place Feel like dancing in fourth. They never really get a straight line to run at at this point in the course. It's always just bending slightly to the left, and Mr. Impatience leads Rule of the World in second. Havana Beat is in third place, and the pace increasing. Feel like dancing just niggled along at the rear of the field. So Mr. Impatience gradually winding it up. In second place, Ruler of the World. In third, Havana Beat. A big horse has got to find his way through some traffic as well, and then feel like dancing at the rear of the field. Now they're beginning to press on. Mr. Impatience leads from Ruler of the World in second place. Havana beat in third and just about to receive a reminder and ruler of the world trying to cover Mr Impatience move and these two have got about two to three lengths clear from Havana beat and feel like dancing so Mr Impatience finding plenty but ruler of the world body language of Ryan Moore suggests he's got the leader covered and now shaken up ruler of the world quickly asserts and he's going to come clear in second is Mr Impatience and ruler of the world's going to make it two out of two kept up to his work for education purposes but again this race goes to Aidan O'Brien doubled on the day for Ryan Moore, ruler of the world, wins eventually by as much as six lengths. Mr. Impatience second, Havana Beach was third. And you feel that maybe they've always thought they were for their best chance. Ruler of the world will be the last one to go forward for the 2013 running of the Investec Derby to be described by Richard Hoyles. That's it, they're all in. And they're off. Racing in the derby, Masali is one of the first to show and also going forward early on is flying the flag. Battle of Marengo amongst the principals is well placed and early interference for Dawn Approach who's keen and was jostled after about a furlong or so. Slit the horse up a little bit, midfield throwing the head from side to side with the white face. So as they race through the first furlong, flying the flag it is who leads the climb uphill. Aidan O'Brien horses well to the fore with also well positioned Battle of Marengo towards the outside and the cheek pieces of ocean applause in a relative relatively handy position as well. Festive cheer not far away, Galileo Rock racing in fifth place early on. Ocavango races in midfield in company with Masali who's under restraint. Then Dawn Approach. Chopin is about three from the tail with a ruler of the world. Libertarian is one from the back and the white-faced Mars is the back marker. They've completed the climb uphill through the first half mile and Battle of Marengo one of the leading protagonists in the market is already well to the fore and has taken over. Leading from Ocean Applause in second, flying the flag, now taking the trail in third. Galileo Rock in fourth place as the pace steadies down and Dawn Approach is giving at this stage his rider a pretty hard time. Three wide, pulling hard in sixth place on the outside of Masali and Okavango. Then behind these we have Ruler of the World, Chopin comes next from Libertarian and all the time Dawn Approach, his hands being forced here, carting his way up now to be right on terms and despite any stamina doubts Dawn Approach is going to go to the lead in the derby a long way from home so Kevin Manning's taken the bold decision that the only way to settle Dawn Approach is to go to the front and he leads the derby
Derby Field down the hill. Battle of Marengo is in second place. Galileo Rock in third place. Masali out wider with ocean applause. Ocavango tracks flying the flag. Libertarian a little awkward down the hill as the field now prepare to turn in at Tattenham Corner. Dawn approach with Battle of Marengo moving up, ensuring there's no steadying the pace. And the two in the market look each other in the eye with half a mile to travel. Galileo Rock, Ocavango traveling well. Just behind the leaders with Masali flying the flag. Libertarian trying to improve ruler of the world coming with a big run as well. Battle of Marengo as Dawn Approach has not got home. Galileo Rock, Ocavango held in by ruler of the world who began his move first. It's Battle of Marengo with ruler of the world. Ocavango, Chopin for Germany. Galileo Rock's white face, but ruler of the world leads the derby from Battle of Marengo. Then Galileo Rock, Libertarian from a long way back, but it's ruler of the world, Braden O'Brien and Ryan Moore who lead the derby field up to the line. And it's ruler of the world who won the derby. Ruler of the world won it, a bomb and a head for second. Galileo Rock, Libertarian charging down the outside and Battle of Marengo, Ocavango next home and Mars never nearer. More simply majestic, it's a fourth Investec derby for Aidan O'Brien, the Chester Vars winner, ruler of the world at 7-1 to one scores in a messy, in a rough a derby. And he follows in the hoofbeats of the mighty shirt off those. It's close for six between Chopin, who didn't get the clearest of runs out on the inside and had to come wide. But today was Moore's day, his second derby win, workforce the first uh, three years ago, and a fourth derby win for Aidan O'Brien. Pick the bones out of that lot, Steve. Probably need more than one watch, but mm. in the end, everything that could go wrong for Dawn Approach went wrong. And it's, you knew after three furlongs he wasn't going to win. People will criticise Kevin Mann unfairly. I think he's the right thing, let him go on the end. He would fight in a losing battle, trying to hold on to him. And they're off. They race away. Uh, Max Dynamite's a little bit slower than the others to get away. Preempt. Distinguishing green cap is sent straight through to have the advantage. Up nearest to us is Flintshire, the first Abdullah Silks, the pink cap. The nose bandage Shikapur is between them at the moment and goes through to sit in second place. Then triple threat the team Valor colors, maroon and green. Okavango, Olivier Pellier, maroon jacket is against the rails. Right behind him, a bit hidden at the moment, is Ryan Moore on ruler of the world in the all dark blue. Then Maxime Guion, white sleeves on Flintshire. Vancouver right is next. Barcelona in the beige colors. The last trio, the Japanese derby winner, Kizuna. Yutaka Take is in the blue and red. Next to him, the vibrant pink silks of Spirit Jim, Christoph Sumion, and having broken a bit awkwardly, Max Dynamite with Frankie Dottori is the back marker. So a pace setter preempts on by a couple of lengths now to Shikapur, Christoph Lemaire, the nose banded horse in second place and is immediately tracked through by Oka Van Gogh with triple threat to the right there, the green and maroon jacket and immediately tracked by Flintshire who's up on the outside of Ruler of the World, Spirit Jim and Vancouver right the next. And comes Kizuna making good progress in the blue and red on the outside. Max Dynamite behind that. Into the closing stages, Shikapur in front. Here into second place is Triple Threat. And then Flincher coming. Okavango with a chance. Kizuna down the outside as they head down to the closing stages. Okavango is just in front now to Kizuna coming up there in the blue and red. Ruler of the World is flying between the pair as they race towards the line, the two derby winners, Riri of the World and Kazuna, a flash pass together, Okavanga behind them in third place. It's very close. Ruler of the World, the far side, hidden from us, the dark blue, the Epsom derby winner, and Kazuna, the Japanese derby winner, nearest to us, involved in a very close photo there. A photo eight and nine. Okavango, number five, is in third place. And Flincher, who went into it as arc favorite, beaten in. Virus, il l'a fait galoper. Il vient de rentrer. En très court instant. 
C'est parti pour cette sixième épreuve, c'est le Qatar Prix Foy, une nouvelle course préparatoire au Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe avec un gagnant du Derby d'Epsom, le numéro 2, Ruler of the World, qui vient à l'extérieur alors que Spirit Jim est pour l'instant à la corde devant le numéro 6, au revoir. En quatrième position, on retrouve ensuite King Barnes le 5 avec Fincher qui galope à son extérieur, gagnant 2013 du Grand Prix de Paris. Quant à Melea Gross, le numéro 3, il a été placé en dernière position par Adrien Foissier. Alain Franco Détori qui place Ruler of the World en tête aux commandes de ce Qatar prix fois avec Spirit Gym, quelque peu brillant qui vient en deuxième position. Il y a eu un léger tassement avec Au Revoir qui vient en deuxième. Plinchayer, lauréat 2013 du Grand Prix de Paris, est en quatrième position. Précédent, Kings Barnes, c'est le numéro 5. Et nous avons Mélé Agros qui est toujours en dernière position. Alors qu'ils viennent de passer derrière le petit bois, toujours Ruler of the World, Frankie Lettori qui compte une longueur d'avance sur Au Revoir, le numéro 6 avec Pierre-Charles Boudot. Spirit Gym, le 4 avec Christophe Le Maire, est en troisième position à la corde devant Flincher et Maxime Guyon qui est quatrième. Kings Barnes, le numéro 5, associé à Ryan Moore, est tentant en avant-dernière position avec Melea Gross qui est toujours dernier. Wall of the World qui va aborder en tête la descente de l'hippodrome de Longchamp avec au revoir le numéro 6 qui est deuxième.